we were looking for a story to tell. And we always put our ideas into the idea basket and we, you know, visit them. We've written many scripts together. And this one, uh, we wrote it three years ago. The idea came to us a year before that. We were seeing all these very high powered men just continuing to fall uh, because of their sex addiction. And uh, both Stuart and I, um, and I'm sure every person in this country has uh, direct experience with addiction, whether it's a family member or a friend, and we thought, you know, there's got to be more to this than just the punchline. This gave um, the problem a face with real people and real relationships and real, you know, pain and beauty and heartbreak. So I think it's an extraordinary movie, and I feel so um, excited that it's coming forward at this time, because we really need a movie like this. I guess part of me was like having one leg in, one leg out, you know? Like, I don't want to be in recovery for my entire life. I don't want this to define me. And I think seeing this film, I was finally okay, you know, with being an addict my entire life and being in these rooms my entire life, because, um, my God, they've given me a shot at my life and knowing myself and, and having like nice time with people, not using people, not being so stuck where I, all I see is people as objects, you know, where I'm talking to someone and all I'm doing is looking down the street, you know? A, a big debate um, throughout the writing process was how much of uh, the recovery process we show and we opted to go deep and explore this world because we hadn't seen it done before, knowing that we might alienate a general audience with all the inside speak and all of this. But, um, and this was a debate. Do we dial that down? Do we make it more? You know, we tried to have our cake and eat it too. Um, but I can see that element of it, the very heavy recovery focus, maybe alienating some people who feel they don't connect, but you know, we can all tell them, yeah, you do. There's someone addicted in your life, probably you. Um. Um, and so part of my healing was um, finding, taking steps, you know, to, um, they, we talk about, we find our character defects, you know, we actually do step work and and then when we find our character defects, it's up to us to do work to heal that. So each one of these people have trauma. Patrick Carnes talks about this as an intimacy disorder. Um, this is how I see the problem. These are multi-layered issues going on here, part of which we think has to do with the tractor states in the brain, because my clients, people in recovery, will talk about this as an addiction. They say, I can't not do this. And we saw the jonesing, the shaking, the, you know, the arousal in the system in all of these people. So much of the time we hear that whole debate, is sex addiction real? And um, being an addict in recovery, it's frustrating you know, to hear that. And I feel like this film is the first film that transcends that question. It's a you know. very personal disease and you know, it, it affects us you know, our, our relational trauma is so personal, and the way we act out is so personal, and the recovery is also going to be have okay, to. Well, one of the things we know from drugs and alcohol, and I think also from sex addiction, is that addicts get better in group. And that group therapy is actually the preferred model for treatment or modality for treatment, even over individual therapy. And the 12-step program, I think, has been one of the biggest social movements on the planet, where people are helping people. So when people start to learn that they can rely on each other, that people have their backs, that they care for them, that's when the system starts to change, both the central and autonomic system. So people not only learning, but these structural changes are taking place also. When we came up with the idea to do this, obviously we needed a theme. And after uh, nearly a year of research, the theme presented itself in a brilliant quote um, from William Cope Moyers. Uh, we are all broken. The only cure for our brokenness is to be broken together. That is the theme of this movie. That is the theme of recovery. Um, and we hope that's what people take from it. So it's a program of people helping people. There are no therapists around. Um, people are just showing each other the way. And it's really quite a beautiful phenomenon, I think. So group is definitely where addicts get better and get help.